Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at probability distributions with R, how to analyze uh, scenarios where we would encounter probability distributions. In this particular example we are going to look at the Pareto type 1 distribution and this is an insurance example. The claim severity for an auto liability insurance coverage is modeled by by a Pareto type 1 distribution, just to remark upon that, that there's other types of Pareto distribution, with a shape parameter alpha equals 2.5 and a scale parameter theta equals 1000. The insurance policy coverage pays up to a limit of 1200 per claim, 1200 per claim. Now this is important. So if the nominal claim value is 1150, the insurance policy will pay the full amount. But if the insurance policy claim is 1,400, let's say that you will only get 1,200 from the insurance company and you have to recover the cost of the other 200 yourself. So what we're going to do is using a seed of 1, 2, 3, 4, what we're going to do is simulate the nominal value of 50,000 such insurance claims. So we're going to use the Pareto distribution to randomly generate 50,000 observations with those parameters and the question is estimate the expect the expected insurance payment under the coverage for one claim so what we're going to do is first off look at the Pareto R package okay capital P Pareto and this is essentially an R package that helps us with the make analyses and so on with the Pareto distribution the author is Ulrich Rigel I hope I pronounced that correctly so I'm going to install the package and load it up, library Pareto. I'm also going to have a couple of other options on standby, okay? And I'm going to set the seed as 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the command in particular that I'm going to use, R Pareto, small r capital P Pareto, okay? And this is a simulation of the Pareto distribution. So essentially what it does is it generates random deviates of the Pareto distribution. So the command is R Pareto. N is the number of observations that we want. T is the threshold, the scale parameter. And alpha is the shape parameter. Okay. So the Pareto alpha. Now there's also a thing as the truncation, which we're not going to look at in this particular presentation. It's handy to know about but it's not actually relevant in this case. The truncation is a different distribution. So, uh, uh, so what we're going to do is simulate 50,000 claims. Okay. N equals 50,000. Okay. So R Pareto, N with N set to 50,000. T is 1,000 and alpha equals 2.5. That's T for theta, the scale parameter. So we're just going to set it up there as claims. Okay. And so that's set up now. So what I'm going to do here is just check it, head, claims, and I get these values here. Okay. Now just remember that I have the options, the digits set to four, I believe. So that's just how that comes out. So don't pay too much attention to the lack of decimal places there. It's not, not usually relevant. It's just how this is outputted. So a quick histogram there. Just have a quick look at it. Histogram. Uh, claims uh, so there it is now so essentially quite a lot of them are bunched in at a very small values but you would sort of see here that the Pareto distribution does allow very large values to occur so it's a very long tail distribution essentially so it's handy to look at it's not really relevant to the question but there you go so estimates based on the simulated data so according to our 50,000 the mean value is 1664 and the variance is 1,701,183 and if you want the standard deviation is 1,304 okay there are thereabouts again the decimal places don't appear here but they do actually exist in the R code so what I'm going to do here is use the parallel maximum or also the parallels actually in this case is the parallel minimum and essentially what that does is it compares each value of a vector to some threshold and it returns the parallel minimum, which is the pairwise minimum of the, the two values being compared. So here I have a little demonstration. X equals 1,150, 1, 
1200, 1250 and 1300. So the parallel minimum of X and 1200 will return uh, the actual values where they are less than 1200 and if they're greater than or equal to 1200 we get 1200. That's exactly what we need in this situation. So we're going to apply this to our claims data set. Okay. Uh, Pmin claims 1200. And the mean, uh, therefore, is a question we're being asked. What is the average claim? And according to this data, it's 1160. And if we were to do this mathematically, uh, get an analytical result, it's very close to the actual answer, the parallel the population expectation of 1,159.51. So it's very close. Anyway, so let's just go back here and see what the star of the show was. Or Pareto from the Pareto R package. Okay. Excellent. And P-min was very useful as well.